Hi guys, good morning. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Now I have <clears throat> a picture of a mirror decor that I saw that I fell in love with and wanted to recreate it because I thought it was very simple but beautiful. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you for watching. I hope you will love this DIY and decide to join us, be a part of our family. You can do so by hitting that subscribe button and hit the share button to share with your family and friends. There is also a bell that you can hit right down below that notifies you every time I upload a new video. Okay guys, so as I begin to cut my hula hoop, which is from the Dollar Tree, and I cut two hula hoops and realize that I cut my first one incorrect. So I want to clarify, if you take your Dollar Tree hula hoop and you find where it's connecting, pull that connector out and then cut your hula hoop in half, then you'll be able to get four pieces of the design you're looking for. So I wanted to clarify that. Also, as I was cutting my hula hoop, I thought it would be much easier if I created a pattern. So I went ahead and took the trifold, Dollar Tree trifold cardboard and put my design on it and trace it out. Okay guys, so everything is painted and I went with gold. The inspirational picture that I saw, the one that gave me the inspiration, is also in gold. So I decided to just stay with the gold. And I went ahead and hot glue the mirror to the cardboard. Now we want to go ahead and assemble. Now keeping in mind, this is definitely not going to look exactly like the inspiration. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put the gems on all the ends of this project. Okay, so now that they're dab of glue onto the end, and add a gem, one of the large gems from Walmart. Okay. 
make sure it's centered. And then you're going to take your small gems. And go around just for any imperfections. Now for your very large stone, gemstone, you're going to add glue in between both of your hula hoops. Then you're just going to lay your gems down on it. And I reinforced it again with some more glue. And this is the Gorilla Glue and it is very clear. It is not cloudy. So you're not able to tell that the glue is there, which is very nice. And so all four sides have the large gems and the small Walmart gems. Small gems, which is from Walmart. And I want to go ahead and outline in between each of the pipes. So guys, I went ahead and add the gems all the way around on the sides of the mirror. I absolutely love the way that that turned out. Now I want to go ahead and these little end pieces, I want to add some gems to them. I basically am going to cover this entire mirror in gems so it is going to be a dollar tree blinged out mirror okay guys so this is where i am i went ahead and started to add the stones and these are small gems medium and large and i am loving the way that that's turning out i want to go ahead and share with you this part that I left blank and it's very simple all I'm doing is placing the large gems and the medium-sized gems in random places so for example if I can get my big gem taking my big gem and I'm just placing them wherever I'd like. So I've chosen two corners, one center, an end, and possibly right here. So just random places. Then I think I'm going to use the medium and just circle it. There's no particular style. Just creating as I go. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I love the way it looks. I hope you do too. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time and your support. Okay guys, 
I will see you on my next DIY.